God bless you. What does it mean to serve God? Yes. What does that mean? Do you ever ask yourself the question, what does it mean to serve God? How much have you thought about that? People on a Christian walk want to know how they can serve God. The question they ask is how? Service to God requires having a pure heart. Did you hear me say that? A pure heart. What does it mean to have a pure heart? Someone who has a pure heart has worries and concerns, not of themselves, but for others. They don't worry about themselves. The manifestation of a pure heart is one of always helping. They're always helping. An example of this is in the Bible when we see Isaiah offer himself as service to the Lord, which in turn is service to others as well, because that is God's will. The scripture, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8 says, When I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who should I send? Who will go for us? I said, Here I am. Send me. And this is in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. It takes a pure heart to see God. I'll say that again. It takes a pure heart to see God. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, the scripture says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. And that's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. See, you are obviously spiritually awakened when you can see God. To be spiritually awakened, then the concerns and worries for yourself do not exist. You are more concerned for others, and to help others, you satisfy God's purpose in your life. That purpose is to see the way God handles his people and to be a participant to helping others grow and understand who God is. Let me tell you, you can attend church services. Maybe you can uh, read your Bible and you can pray. But if sin fills your heart, you will not see God. You will know when you have encountered God because your life will no longer be the same. This means your heart will not feel empty because it is filled. <clears throat> it is filled with God's purpose, and that purpose overflows to the needs of others. Now you know what I mean when I say that God has a purpose for you. That purpose is something you feel that pours out to others, from yourself to others. God's purpose inside you relates to what you do for others. Let's go back to talking about Isaiah in the Bible and talk first about who he was. Isaiah was a Hebrew, Hebrew prophet. He lived about 700 years before the birth of Jesus Christ. He found his calling as a prophet when he saw a vision in the year of King Uzziah's death. Isaiah prophesies the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Isaiah was concerned with the death of King Uzziah, the able king of Judah, but was disoriented to his heavenly king. That means God. Then something happened that forever changed Isaiah's life. You see, God appeared to him in a temple. Instantly, God's presence made Isaiah aware of his sinfulness. In the Bible, it talks about how Isaiah was cleansed of his sins. Isaiah had been preoccupied with earthly matters. Now his only concern was the will and activity of God. Isaiah was aware of a conversation in heaven concerning who might be worthy to be God's messenger to the people. Well, this is what prompted Isaiah to say, here am I, send me. Think about this. If you have become estranged 
from God and his activity, God's activity, then perhaps your heart needs to be cleansed. Perhaps you need the experience of God's cleansing in your heart. That means to let the Holy Spirit flow in your heart and to do its work. Sanctification prepares us to see and hear God. It enables you to serve him. Only purify your heart. Allow God to remove any impurities that hinder your relationship with God. And then your service will have meaning as you offer God your consecrated life. Thank you for joining me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My name is Dave.